First of all, we'd like to thank you for filling in the opt-in page and wanting to know why leaving a six-figure career was more important than the money. Obviously, we're talking about me, Sarah. Well, she's not too young to have earned six figures, but it was me. <laughs> I, at, My name is Jim, by the way, and this is my gorgeous daughter, Sarah Elizabeth, and we are in business together. We inspire people to take action, to change things in their life that they're just not happy with. I am an accountant by profession. I have been self-employed for well over 20 years, about 25 years now. Um, but, you know, even when you, you work for yourself, you're still actually being dictated to by your clients, your customers, um, suppliers, whatever. I mean, you know, whenever we went on a holiday, I was still at the beck and call of my clients. So I'd constantly be checking emails and I'd always have to have my phone on, you know, international roaming if we were overseas or I could never be not on my phone. And, you know, so often the kids would say to me, like, Mum, like, give it up. Like, can you spend some time with us? And, you know, I'd work from home, but I'd be in my office constantly and I wouldn't be spending quality time with my girls. Like, I was here physically, but mentally I really wasn't with them. Um... Two years ago, uh, May, just over two years ago, May 2011, we had an incredible um, tragedy happen to us that changed our lives forever. My partner, my long-term partner, my life partner, and Sarah and Carly's father um, committed suicide. And that really, really, really changed things for us. Um, you know, when everybody has tragedy in their life and, you know, everybody copes with death differently. But let me tell you, having somebody, you know, pass away from an accident or an illness or whatever is so much different to having somebody make that choice that they would prefer not to be here than to be here. Um, it's... It's really, I don't know, you know, we, we generally haven't talked about this, we haven't sort of told, we don't discuss this with anyone because it really is, is a hard thing to talk about. But I decided that I wanted people to know that, you know, I haven't, I'm not a part of Empower Network um, because I'm struggling and, you know, looking for money to pay the bills and, and whatnot. I walked away from a six-figure income because I wanted more. It was more important for me to spend time with my kids, to you know, help my kids get through what they were going through, to help me, I don't know, be there for my kids and to enjoy life the way life is supposed to be enjoyed. Um, Sarah actually suffers from chronic depression and was diagnosed back in 2009. So I have been you know, helping her and, and, and help, you know, going through day, daily life. Um, her father also suffered from depression and as you could imagine following his choice it's made me very more uh, very more that's not very good English but it's made me more, more. Um, conscious of, of, of Sarah's um, state of mind mentality you know how how it can go in the toilet real fast um, my way of dealing with with Peter's um, death was to actually throw myself into work and if I wasn't a workaholic before I was more so after that I went into mm, de denial it was definitely denial you know if I didn't think about it it didn't happen so I just went into overdrive and that's how I cope best until December last year when I was actually diagnosed with depression myself surprise surprise Family affair. And, yeah, family that has depression together stays together. Well, maybe not. Sorry, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it really knocked me for a six. I mean, my health suffered dramatically. And I really, really had to take a good look at what I was doing to myself. Um, and it's not the way I wanted to be. It's not the way I wanted to live. I... I wanted to spend more quality time with my girls. You know, the money was no longer important to me. 
you know, yeah, we live the high life and we travel wherever we want to travel and, you know, we, we have a house in America and, you know, we have three cars and I have two motorbikes and, you know, we, we weren't sure. In fact, we've got so many clothes that <laughs> our family room has turned into a walk-in wardrobe because we're shopaholics. But it no longer became the focus of what I wanted. I'm not saying money's not important because we all know it is. But I wanted something more. And I was already involved in Empower Network. It was something Sarah had come across and, and you know, it was something that she wanted to do. But I just sort of was playing with it for a while and, yeah, and whatever, whatever. And, and then I started getting involved and listening and to the inner circles and went to um, an event. We've now since been to two events. Um, and there's another one coming up shortly. But this whole community that we have found ourselves in has given us the most incredible support strength strength inspiration love. um unconditional love and hope you know i i know that i will be you know easy to to get back to the six figure incomes it's it's not going to be hard I have my bad days. I certainly have bad days. Um, Sarah and I have bad days together. And, and that's really bad. <laughs> that's not so great. But, you know, knowing that, you know, A, we have a business that is, is on autopilot, but if we don't work at it, it's, it doesn't flourish. You know, we still have to work our asses off to get to where we want to be. I know I had to work my ass off to become an accountant. You know, six years of university, studying when my girls were little, um, you know, I studied part time, took me six years, but I, I did whatever it took to give my girls a better life. And I achieved that. You know, it, it, it took all that time to get to six figures, but it's not going to take me that long this time. So, you know, th this video was just, just to give you a little bit of insight that, you know, our story is a little bit different to most people. We're sort of the flip side. We've walked away from the money to to get what we wanted which was freedom and quality time together and family time family time because you know life is just so incredibly precious and I don't want to miss out on anything I mean my kids are 21 and 19 but you know they are at the most awesome age and it doesn't matter what age your kids are at like or even if you don't have kids you know you just you just want to hang with your friends or you just want to do something, whatever's on your bucket list. Don't put it off until you retire. Because... That's not fun. You, it's... Bleh. Why wait? Why wait? You know, do it now. Actually, yeah. ask yourself that question. Why wait? Yeah, why wait? What are you waiting for? Seriously. I... Yeah, anyway, I just... Live today, live for today, not for tomorrow, because you never know when tomorrow will be taken away from you. Yeah, and let me tell you, I... I would not have thought in a million years that my life would have changed so dramatically as what it has over the last two years. And so quickly. And so incredibly quickly from the decision of one person. So one person's action can affect a multitude of people. That can be good and it can be bad. I was just going to go there. <laughs> so. It's not always a bad thing. My decision. Was to, a good thing. To walk away from, from six figures was a great thing. You know, I admit it hasn't, it certainly hasn't been easy financially for us um, because, you know, we're not turning over six figures, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. And we weren't born with the golden spoon or no. whatever it's called. You know, and, and I'm not scared of a little bit of hard work and neither Sarah. So we will do whatever it takes to get to where we want to be. But, you know. In all aspects. Yeah. Health, wealth, yeah. dreams, all of it. But with the help of Empower Network, they have just, they keep us inspired. Yes. And in turn, we inspire other people, which is phenomenal. I love hearing from people saying how much, you know, something Sarah's written on Facebook has inspired them or how it helped them get through their day or, you know, how, how my blogs or our blogs sort of, you know, I've helped somebody get through something. So if we can help anybody get through some sort of difficulty if I can just if we can inspire just one person to take action to make a change in their life 
then our, you know, our job's done. It's, that's all we want to do. We just want to inspire you. And so you know that you're not alone and you have the choice to make decisions, to change things in your life. Nobody said you have to keep doing what you're doing because who said so? Nobody. Um, you said so. <laughs> you're taught that way too at school. Yeah. So anyway, um, click on the link. There'll be an arrow or a something along the line and it will take you to a video that will show you yeah, another video. But it's not us. <laughs> that will show you exactly what we do and why we do what we do and it'll introduce you to some amazing people, some terrific mentors, fabulous leaders and close friends of ours, which is really good feeling to say. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope that we have managed to help you just a little bit. Um, so, you know, you don't actually have to be down and out to make a change in your life. You, you do just, it now. You just have to make a decision and do it. It's all about the decision and taking action with that decision. Absolutely. Action speaks louder than words. Remember so, that. So on that note, please click on the link to get you to the next video. And we look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to reading your comments. We look forward to you joining our team with Empower Network and let us to continue to inspire you to keep taking action. And we look forward to meeting you at the next event. Yes. Which, by this video, is Denver. July. 19 to 21. There you go. And if you're seeing this after then, then it's, I don't know, every three months we have events. Be at the events. It's Come up to us at the events. Find us at the events. And let me tell you, it's the events that actually are just completely life-changing, mind-altering. Yeah. And you get hugs. Inspiring. It's Facebook come alive. Yeah. I love it. And we, we love you. And we believe in you. And we'll believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself. So on that note, I know, it's like, blah, blah, blah. Does that chick ever stop talking? Mm -hmm. Do. I'm going to right she now. Really does. This is a happy face. <laughs> this is a happy girl. This is another happy girl because I took charge of my life and I not only made a decision but I took action on my decision. And now my girls and I, you know, although we, we face the most horrendous tragedy anybody could ever have, I'm we're happy. We're happy with our decisions and, and what and that we're together all the time. And who would have thought we'd be saying that? Oh, I never thought I would ever <laughs> utter know those that words word ever even again. Meant ever again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go to the next page. And click on the next link, and we'll catch you later on. See ya. Bye.